killer. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Gamer here, and welcome back to the channel, and today I'm going to be bringing you a review on Dragon Ball Super episode, I believe, 86, uh, and so today we're going to go ahead and just jump straight into the video because I don't want to delay it any longer than I'm probably going to, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it. So, uh, the, the episode begins off with basically uh, Goku over at the lookout, basically asking Dende, uh, telling him uh to tell him where uh, where the hell android 17 is and so after that basically what just ends up happening is that dende actually makes the whole lookout move so apparently the whole lookout from where it's at above corn's tower can actually indeed move which i find very interesting because we've actually never seen we've never seen it happen before you know it's the first that that it's ever happened and i'm surprised that it did because i well, I don't think anybody really knew that it could that it could happen, right? So then they ends up making the whole fucking lookout move, and then as on as they're on the way there to actually go and so, so like Goku can actually go and recruit uh, Android 17. Um, uh, then they actually uh, brings up the fact that there's actually a younger uh, boy in a village that actually has an extreme talent for martial arts. And he actually goes ahead and tells uh, basically the, uh, the whole people watching the episode uh, at that moment, and Goku of course, that it's actually the uh, evil reincarnation, not the evil reincarnation, but the reincarnation of the evil Majin Buu, or Kid Buu as you guys uh, may, call, may call him because that's what he's been dubbed to be called. And I call him that too, but that's just what he's been dubbed to be called uh, in the series. So it's Kid Buu. He mentions that Kid Buu uh, has been reincarnated and that he's actually, you know, there and he's around and that he's getting an extreme talent for martial arts. Which I find it very interesting that they would actually um, basically announce that Oob is a thing. He is a character. Or not, not that he's a character, but that he is in Super and that he's going to be around uh, much, much later on. I find that very... Uh, I just find the, uh, the timing for him to be introduced basically to be kind of weird because it's like we're, 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 we're in a situation where the whole universe could get destroyed. So I just find it like kind of surprising that they would now introduce him, you know, in this episode. But you know, it's Oob, so I actually really like the fact that Oob uh, has now actually been confirmed, I guess, that he is going to be in Super and I'm actually really excited about that. But of course, we're going to go ahead and uh, go a little bit later into the video. So um, the whole lookout gets to where the island uh, is, uh, uh, is where 17 is at. And 17, uh, for, so, for some of you who don't know, he's actually a park ranger now. And that's basically like his whole job after he had gotten uh, revived back from the Dragon Balls. Uh, which is very interesting uh, for Android 17 or Jun Nanago. You know, because he was a delinquent like teenager basically who just basically was a, a antagonized pretty much everybody that he can that he interacts with so it's very interesting for android 17 to have a job like this but i guess it's not really that surprising when you know 18's you know married to someone like krillin so i guess it's not that surprising but uh, that's besides the point so uh, goku gets there he's on the island where uh, android 17 is at and uh, there are these poachers who actually are attacking the island and Goku goes ahead and helps out Android 17 basically take out the poachers from the island and just stuff kind of just happens and so I guess the kind of area where like Android 17 is like camped out at on the island because that's where uh, he works away from home uh, I don't find that surprising that that's uh, kind of like a thing for 17 but uh, <laughs> basically what happens is that like uh, 17 is basically talking about how you know how he was evil and that uh, uh, Dr. Jiro had basically just pro programmed him to go after Goku and you know kill him that was his whole you know uh, prime thing to do and that's that's what he was meant to do when he was you know turned into an android so um 
I'm sorry, I'm, I'm losing my train of thought, I apologize. But, uh, yeah, they, like, he goes off and talks about, like, how he was bad. Dr. Shiro made, made him want to do this and do that. And then after he was, you know, absorbed by Cell, he kind of just changed after that. He changed, he uh, got a job uh, being a park ranger. He uh, had to, uh, he had, uh, he had a, he had a kid. Uh, not only the fact that he also got married, uh, he has three kids. Two of them are adopted. One of them is biological. Um, but that's just that's the point. Uh, that's not the main thing that was that was getting me really excited about the episode. The main thing that I was really excited, like watching the whole time, was the whole fight uh, with Android 17 uh, and Goku. Uh, I actually uh, really liked the fight. It was pretty decently animated, and it, it didn't show off the full strength of Android 17, which I like. I hope that we actually get to see the full extent of Android 17 when the actual Tournament of Power star uh, starts, because. You know, Android 17 and 18, they could do so much for uh, Universe 7 as it turns of just like a pair of two. Because they they work together really, really well. They're brother and sister, so you, you gotta imagine that in a tournament scenario where it's basically like a battle royale, they would be really good together just, just you know, working together like in, in this, this whole situation that we're in. I'm sorry, I'm like kind of stumbling on my words a little bit, I apologize. But, um, yeah, they, they kind of have a little fight, they have a spar, kind of just to show off Android 17's uh, power, basically, to, just to see, like, how much stronger he has gotten over the years, basically, because it has been a, a long time since we've seen him, and I gotta say, I really, 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 really like Android 17 now. When I first saw him initially back in the Android Cell arc, I didn't really like 17, he was kind of just, like, that villain that was a villain but we didn't get to see too much of him because plot convenience I guess getting absorbed by Cell and stuff like that it, you know he was kind of just like that character that was there but I didn't really like too much you know I felt like there was like so much more for 17 that we could have seen but now we're actually gonna see a, a lot from Android 17 uh, in a tournament of power uh, but at the end of the episode, uh, he actually doesn't agree to actually uh, fight alongside everybody else in the tournament of, po tournament of power because Goku actually uh, messes up and he's mentioning that, you know, if they win, they get 10 million Zenny, but Android 17 doesn't actually care about Zenny, you know, because he makes a, he makes a decent amount of money working as a park ranger, which um, which is good, but he doesn't care about that. And then Goku actually slips up and he actually mentions the fact that the fate of the, the world is on the line if they don't, you know, if they don't, if he doesn't do this, if he doesn't participate in a tournament of power. And then Android 17, 17 can obviously tell that Goku is hiding something and, you know, he's not, he's not telling him what the hell is going on. So it's, it's kind of just like the, the situation that because 17 can tell that Goku is basically lying to him he basically has to go ahead and tell 17 that if they don't win the whole universe gets destroyed the whole entire universe 7 gets destroyed but he still doesn't care he he still doesn't care the fact that the whole universe could get destroyed his his job his family he doesn't care he's just like best of luck whatever yada 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 just ton of bullshit right he just he just says no and Goku keeps asking him like just please do it but he he just denies it or he doesn't deny it he just uh, doesn't agree to do it uh, which is like it's kind of what I expected uh, to happen it, I wasn't completely surprised that he that he was going to say no <sighs> you know because that was like what uh, well not really uh, Android the uh, Android 18 because Gohan actually was asking uh, Krillin to actually like spar with him so that that's uh, entirely different thing but basically what I was trying to say is uh, is that uh, 17 just says no he doesn't care he's not gonna participate uh, but we already know that the full uh, team roster consists of, of the, the two androids Krillin, Tien, Master Roshi etc etc I'm not, I'm not gonna explain the whole roster because I'll just kinda take a little while and I don't really wanna explain but anyways, uh, the final climactic scene of the episode actually shows like this the space uh, like 
this this space motherfucker. I don't really know uh, what I'm trying to say, but he's basically going after uh, the last animal of a species, that, and also a whole bunch of other rare animals that are on Earth. And so we already basically know what's gonna happen in the next episode. Uh, the guys that are that were in space in the final uh, climactic cutscene, I guess not cutscene, but the scene uh, of, the, of the episode, they're gonna go and try to like uh, ca uh, capture the animals. Uh, Goku's gonna be there to help out Seventeen, and Seventeen's basically gonna owe him one and then basically participate in the world, uh, the, the tournament of power. I apologize. Um, but yeah, that's basically the entire episode. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to uh, smash that like button. And if you're brand new to the channel, be, uh, be sure to just consider subscribing to the channel for more videos just like this. And for other future content that will, that will be coming out uh, in the next couple of days. Um, tomorrow, or maybe uh, later uh, tomorrow night, very, very, very late at night, and I apologize for this video actually coming up really late at night. I'm gonna upload my Boruto video. Uh, I'm gonna start working on uh, putting out these videos a lot more sooner. I really do apologize for not uploading these videos really much more frequently than I wanted to, but whatever, right? Anyways, uh, smash the like button, consider subscribing to the channel if you're brand new, and yeah, uh, peace.